Hello, hello, Reds. It's Man United inside again on it. Welcome back. Man United in line to sign the next Thierry Henry, who could replace Marcus Rashford in starting 18. Manchester United are in line to sign a player dubbed the next Thierry Henry, as per reports. A dismal 3-0 defeat to neighbors Manchester City on Sunday has meant United are languishing in 8th in the Premier League, having lost 5 of their opening 10 league games of the season. Rashford is one of several underperforming stars at Old Trafford, with the attacker having found the net once for his club this term after signing a new $300,000 a week deal in July. The England international was United's top scorer last season, netting 30 goals in all competitions for the club. However, it appears Ten Hag is interested in signing a player to provide competition for the misfiring 26-year-old. According to Italian outlet Calcio Mercato, AC Milan forward Rafael Leao is being targeted by United. The Portuguese superstar rose to prominence in Milan's Scudetto-winning campaign, showing the kind of skill and poise that led the likes of Fabio Capello and Stefano Pioli to compare him with Henry. And while Leao signed a new long-term contract last season, things may not all be well at the San Siro. Despite having claimed a respectable three goals and four assists in 10 Serie A games this term, the 24-year-old has been criticized for his lack of impact in big fixtures. The player was recently taken off for Luka Jovic during a clash with Napoli. Leao is said to have been understandably unhappy with the decision. The Italian publication even claimed that the Portugal international could reconsider his future at the club. Liao is valued at 90 million 78 million by transfer marked. And also, Scott McTominay confident Eric Ten Hag is the right man for Manchester United. Manchester United midfielder Scott McTominay is 100% sure manager. Eric Ten Hag can turn the club's fortunes around. Former Ajax boss Ten Hag has come under increasing pressure as United bid to put their worst start to a season since 1962 when 63 behind them. McTominay insisted all the hard work by the players and coaching staff behind the scenes will soon start to pay off. The Scotland International told the club's official website, There's more that goes into it when you're not playing well and you're not doing so well. I know the fans don't want to hear that. They want to see results and performances and I think they want to see the players smiling and happy. It's not quite happening at the moment, but I'm 100% sure that the manager can put that into practice and it can come off. I'm sure of that. After successive 3-0 home defeats to Manchester City and Newcastle, United play at Fulham on Saturday and face Champions League group rivals Copenhagen in Denmark next Wednesday. We have to win. That's always the thought process, McTominay said. Obviously, my thoughts are with the fans at the minute because we're not playing well and it's difficult for them. Obviously, the fans will hear the generic response of, we've got to stick together, but it's true. Scott McTominay, they pay their hard-earned money every week to come and watch us, and the least we can do is play well and win football matches. It's not quite happening at the moment, sometimes that's football. But I feel like for us in that dressing room, we have to stay tight and keep a clear head, and we can't get too emotional with everything that surrounds us. We've got to block it all out. Ten Hag has urged his players to stand up and work shoulder by shoulder, and McTominay agreed a united dressing room is key to halting their slide. Everyone knows that we're not in our best period at the minute. We have to stick together. That's the most important thing, he said. Obviously, the fans will hear the generic response of, we've got to stick together, but it's true. Everyone wants this football club to succeed, and we have to pull together and try to be as good with each other as possible in the dressing room to get those results going our way. I feel like we've got more than enough talent in the changing room to do that, and whenever you look at the boys who are playing, but obviously something isn't quite clicking. That's up to the manager and the players to fix that, and I'm 100% confident that we will. Eric Ten Hag on thin ice, as Man UTD identify two potential replacements. Manchester United have identified two potential replacements for Eric Ten Hag, it has been claimed. 
The Red Devils' boss is under severe pressure at Old Trafford, following consecutive 3-0 defeats to bitter rivals Manchester City and Newcastle. The club sit eighth in the Premier League table, some nine points adrift of first-place Tottenham Hotspur. While their European form hasn't been any better, suffering defeat in two out of their opening three Champions League matches. As a result, Ten Hag is thought to be on thin ice, according to the Times, after leading the club to their worst start to a campaign in 61 years. The report adds that sporting Lisbon boss Ruben Amarim and Zinedine Zidane have been selected as a potential replacement. But while plenty is known about Zidane, having previously led Real Madrid to Champions League glory, little is known about Amarim. So, who is the 38-year-old loved by Pep Guardiola? Who is Ruben Amarim? Amarim played as a midfielder before entering management, notably racking up 95 appearances for Portuguese giants Benfica. He then started his managerial career at Casapia in 2018, before joining Braga B. He was later promoted to the first team and was appointed by Sporting Lisbon in 2020. He has been in charge of the Portuguese side since and led them to their first league title in 19 years during the 2020-21 campaign, while he recorded an impressive victory over Arsenal in the Europa League last season. What has been said about him? Speaking about Amorium ahead of last season's Champions League second-leg tie against RB Leipzig, Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola described to the Portuguese manager as one of the best. With the aggregate score locked at 1-1, the City boss said, quotes, via tribal football, A year ago we won by five in Lisbon at this stage of the Champions League, and they said how bad sporting is. What a poor team. They had won the league. From my point of view, their coach is one of the best at the moment. His team, it was very, very good. Do you know what happened there? Five opportunities, five shots, five goals, it was 100%. How good is the coach, huh? This year we had chances, we drew with Leipzig, and they say that Manchester City is a disaster. Zinedine Zidane has already revealed whether he would be interested in taking the Manchester United job. Pressure increased on Eric Ten Hag on Sunday after United were humbled 3-0 by neighbors Manchester City at Old Trafford. The defeat, which Sky Sports pundit Micah Richards labeled as a footballing lesson, means United have lost five of their opening ten Premier League games and are nine points adrift of City in eighth place. As reported earlier this week, should United choose to part ways with Ten Hag, former Real Madrid boss Zidane is the favorite to the reins at Old Trafford. A World Cup, European Championship and Champions League winner in his playing days, Zidane also claimed three Champions League trophies in succession during his time as Real Madrid manager. However, the Frenchman has been...